just like to get things done in a hurry. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think his children take after him with that. Because <laughs> we want things done yesterday when we asked for them to done. something to tell you. You know, right? <laughs> yeah. The worst criticism comes out of his mouth, right? You know, it's, it's like sometimes I drive in or sometimes he said, no, you don't have to stop to let people pass. I know. So I said, come on, you know, we all use the road. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Drive through. Forget yeah, the, forget not come down and keep moving, you know. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs>
people think Guyana driving's crazy. It's not. It's it's like the easiest thing to me. You would get over 100, 120, 140 kilometers. Yeah. That's if you go in the highway. Because what happened? It doesn't have, let's say, traffic cops or whatever to, you know. Right, right, right. So the guys would, you know, would get exceed the speed limit. Yeah. But on the east bank here, you know, because you don't know where where the cops are, you know. Oh. Waiting, east, waiting with the speed bump thing. East Coast Road is the worst. East Coast is, yeah. They have cops all over. All over the place. That's so true. I got pulled over in um, Monrepo's last last uh, year when I was here. Yeah. The cop pulled me over because, you know, the speed limit goes from 80 to like 60 really quick. Correct. Correct. And before you could even before recognize you know it. it. Yeah. <laughs> he's pulling you over. Yeah. It's like he's standing on the line waiting, right? And he pulls me over and then he says, Oh, you know how fast you were going? And I'm like, I don't. How fast was I going? He said, Well, the speed limit was um 60 and you go in 80. Oh. And I'm like, Oh, well, it said 80 when I was doing it. And he goes, Oh, so you didn't know it changed to 60. And I said, no, I didn't see a change to 60. He said, so you don't know how fast you're going? I said, no, I don't know how fast I was going. He said, okay, give me your license. I gave him my license and he goes, he comes back to me and he goes, oh, um, you didn't know you were, you were speeding. I said, no, I didn't know I was speeding. He goes, okay, so, um, so what do you want to do? I said, I want you to write me a ticket. <laughs> and he goes, you want me to write you a ticket? I said, yeah, I want you to write me a ticket. So he goes, oh, you know your license is only um, 30 days. You can use it temporary if you're visiting. I said, yeah, I know. He goes, but if I write you a ticket and you don't pay it, you're going to have to go to the, I don't know, court, whatever your ref mm -hmm. court is. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be till like a couple months later, you're going to have to go. And if you pay the ticket, it's going to be like $7,000. I'm like, I still want you to write me that ticket. Yeah. And he goes, you sure? I said, yeah. Anyway, he brings, he takes my license, the guy in a paper, and then he takes it over to another guy who's standing with him. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. And he comes back, he goes, okay. And he wrote the, he wrote the ticket for me. And the name that he wrote on the ticket wasn't even my name. <laughs> my dad my dad said man take the blasted thing and rip it up and throw it in the garbage yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite right. and yeah so I, I remember I think it was either October or September the server you know we have to go to San Orwe but you know they can put the gun on me oh okay the area we were was like 80 kilometers uh -huh. and I was doing like 84 uh -huh. so I tell him I said man so what are you gonna do? So I come back to the car. And Wait, you were with dad? Yeah. Oh. And I put um, put a two thousand in the license. And, you know, yeah. And I gave him and, you know, and he gave him back the license. And he said, man, you go, you go in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the one with you, where he was trying to tell you that, well, look, your know, license is not valid for a period of time, is the, that he was yeah. trying to compel you to pay him to, to left something with him, and I refused to and do you it. Refused to. And he and he wrote me the ticket, and it was a stupid ticket. And even write it wrong. And wrote it wrong. So yeah. he goes, "It's like seven thousand dollars. You're gonna have to pay." And I said, "I'm. I need you to write me that ticket." Yeah. Because you know why? We don't do that in America. Why the hell would I come here and do that? Exactly. I'm not encouraging their bad habits. Even if I have to pay the ticket, I'd rather pay the ticket yeah. than to give it to him. And more people need to do that. More people need to stand up and stop doing that. You see the problem now we face with here, you know, why a lot of people, but before I left a thousand or two thousand dollars, because when, when you write a ticket, oh, they charge you to go to court yeah. for the traffic offense that you come in. And then sometimes when you go to court, you waste all day and then next thing you know, you know the jacket didn't reach to the court. Okay, but you know what though? If you're going to break the law and not obey the speed limit, then you should you should go to court because it's quite dangerous, right? It's and dangerous. people die on these roads exactly. because exactly. of those actions. Exactly. So I think that it's important to continue to write those tickets to teach people 
a lesson how, how to, to slow are, down. How to slow down, you know. Because then you're doing better for the country you're doing overall. better for the country, yes. But by giving them the money, because you're saving a couple of bucks here or there, at the end of the day, the of the you're day, gonna, day. they're killing people exactly, on the street. Exactly, because what happened? When you play a traffic cop, it end up that well the driver go back and do the same stupidness again. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna you go know. kill somebody on the street. Yeah. So give them the freaking ticket and let them waste the whole day in court. Maybe that's the day they decided they're not gonna speed. They're not gonna speed. Because they're in court all day, they can't drive. They save somebody's life. Think about it. I'm just saying, I feel like there's a lot of injustice. I get it. I understand that. But I also think that there's a lot of things that the pop you know the, the population here can control as well yeah. you know yeah. like no don't bribe anybody all band together and refuse to pay those cops anything going forward and i guarantee that maybe they might start reducing those fines because mm -hmm. people are actually paying their tickets now yeah. maybe they'll think that oh instead of paying the cop two thousand dollars just pay the government two thousand for the damn ticket that you get and, and another another thought about it is that traffic cop here you, they would stop you uh, drive for everything okay you know, just saw her or whatever, you know. And then they would turn and send out, oh, left, left something with the boys, no? <laughs> if, if, they, if they did that, I'd be like, which boys? I'll, I'd be like, which boys? The one in the orphanage? <laughs> <laughs> left something with the boys, no? They would say, you know, today's your boy boy day or whatever, you know. <laughs> you know, these kind of things. So they, they compel it or they're begging you for, you know. But left something with them. Yeah, you should tell him to go go to his mother who gave birth to him. I to remember, leave something with I him. remember an incident years ago when I used to to drive this road. The guy used to walk up this side. Mm -hmm. A traffic cop stopped me and he said, "Man, driving is everything okay?" So some man, yes. So he told him, "Any some man, you know today is your boy boy day." So I tell you, some man, look, I think it's a coincidence because today is me boy day too. Ah. <laughs> If I give you something, you're going to give me something. Exactly. <laughs> That's he talks to me and he smiles and he says, Mahdi, are you going to laugh? <laughs> you know what? There's a, there, a little humor goes a long way, right? That's good. That's good. I'm glad you did that. Work 
again, I just uh, do one more again. Oh, that's really cool. So you're yeah. a skilled carpenter? Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, Chinery, or what do you call Made furniture and woodworking machines. Oh, that's really nice. You know. And so that's something you don't do anymore? I don't anymore. Mm. And, um, okay, okay. That was the bottom of the car raised yeah, because, because he went over yeah. a bump. <laughs> a heavy our, drop on there. And yeah. our luggage in the trunk is heavy. Weighing it down, probably. So, um, what, what kind of furniture do you make? Like, um, anything? Or any, any furniture, any furniture, so to speak. So, do you, the furniture that you have in your house, did you make it yourself? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I you have, did? I have up to now that I did myself. Wow. And what kind of wood do you use? The purple heart or green uh, or? What do you call it? Yeah, you could remember crab wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crab wood. Because it's easier for you to um, carve and... Right. Yeah. You know. And then, um, and then give it this, what you call this mahogany finish. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wow, that's really nice. And did you ever think about doing it and selling it on your own or not really? Um, the problem that I face with is that why I out of um, woodworking is because the, the company I used to work with, right. I had an accident and damaged this. Oh, right. This so you need your hands, so you need your hands, yeah. right? Yeah. If you damage like the nerves yeah, so and the I tendons, had to, um, I had to move away from strenuous work, mm -hmm. you know, to help the hand to to heal itself, you know. Yeah. Things yeah. that you have no control over. Some little things, you know. I think you know what? My dad 
dad is a lot like me. He sets a very high expectations for things, situations, and people. And when they don't deliver or, you know, something doesn't happen the way he expects it to, he gets disappointed. Get, and, get, get worked up. Yeah, and so, you know, it's hard, it's hard when you're like that to lower your expectations. And I know my dad is like that. I'm the same exact way. And it makes you get frustrated because you're like, why, why? It's like, but there's nothing you can do about it because everybody's different, you exactly. know? Exactly, exactly. He always means well, though, in the end. that emancipated slavery. Oh. Emancipated oh. slavery, is that the right way to say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. emancipated the slaves, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, Give them the freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somewhat, yeah. Not full freedom. Not full freedom, <laughs> but but what, what we see today is what I guess is what he expected to happen then. Obviously it took years because I think it's only been several decades before the United States has really even had freedom of, freedom. you know, yeah. Yeah. that slaves are no longer a thing, right? It's been, what, it's what, 60 years? Maybe not even 70 years? Not even, I don't this, think. This is what I got to do. Probably a robbery or something. <laughs> see people looking on. Oh, really? Is an accident? I see, I see two guys with one. Where? Oh, so they had, a, they had an accident at the gas station? Or robbery at the gas station? Well, let's, let's get past this gun before they start shooting. Because <laughs> he's got a machine gun over there. <laughs> Oh, it's an accident. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's use the road. But, um, yeah. We don't have slavery. 
free anymore, but you know what? There's still a lot of racism, and that's the sad part of yeah, it. Yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's the thing that keep keep the world, I should say. Yeah, that's what, that's what... Keep it down. Oh, of course. It's, yeah. it's always going to be like that, right, Lincoln? Yeah. It's never going to change. It's never going to change. Exactly. exactly. Um, but, you know, living in a country like Guyana, or being from a country like Guyana, unfortunately, there's a lot of racism here, too. Mm -hmm. But I think because I grew up in New York, it's like, I don't really... Like, I don't see it that, like, you know, I have you a different... You don't see it that much because it's no, people no, no. from all different I mean, walks of life. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we're from New York and there's, you know, they have so many different races there. And it's like, you don't look at people because of they, their color or what they look like. You just look at people, you just keep moving on the street. You exactly, know? It's exactly, like, yeah. You don't have time to look. Yeah, you don't have yeah, time, don't have time, time to look. Kind of here, we got time to look. Well, people in Guyana like to stare. Yeah, stare <laughs> see something out to the way and they would you know they would make it a duty to look i know yeah. but they should you know i think I, these people need to embrace themselves embrace their race embrace their culture and always put themselves first over anybody else you know exactly Guyana, but Guyanese people are very hospitable I, I will tell you that incredibly hospitable um they can have nothing and yet they want to give you everything it's you true. know it's so i do find that it's so true. Oh, do you know what my dad cooked? I don't know. I was at him today before I left to go uh, to the airport and he was cooking up a storm. So. Oh, did it smell like curry? Um, I think he, he mentioned that he was doing some mutton curry. Uh-huh. Wow. And, um, and he was doing some boar with fried bamboo. Oh, that's, that, that's for me because you know why? Because he mentioned oh, that some, God. someone of you you mentioned that someone of you is, is like vegetarian like me i don't eat, i don't okay. eat any meat okay. yeah okay. So, oh my god my dad so of course the board, the board is for you the board is for me yeah <laughs> oh see my dad thought about me i love it i love it that's like that's like music to my ears clinton no i'm kidding abra clinton, clinton. Yeah. Clinton. you can say clinton i'm kidding no i'm kidding i'm joking with you <laughs> no problem you can say clinton too so this is craig this is this is home oh we're still in home This one here, right? That, but it's but it's literally like on the public road, like by itself and across from. What I like about it, it's by itself. Okay, Sheen, you go. The, you do that. How many years you? How many years are you yeah. talking about them? Let's see. Yeah. So the mutton curry for um these guys and the boar for and me. Oh okay. my God! I'm so happy right now. He loves to cook. And you know what? He is a fantastic cook. And if only I can be as half as good as how he cooks. And he does it with such ease. And, and he enjoys it. Yeah. Yes, Stitch. We're in. Okay, we're, we're approaching um, Craig, Craig right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the the line the line is from here actually coming into Grove. Yeah. Mm. We just hit traffic, Dad. Okay, we'll see you soon. Yeah. When we start Yeah. So um, it's almost like he he has GPS on you. Lincoln because he knows exactly, he knows exactly what's happening right now yeah. the line is from here yeah oh yeah, my very, god very good with, with diamonds oh my god yeah. he really is he will know when you leave there when the plane land when yeah, we come out know, and clear after 15-20 uh, minutes yeah you know, what 
direction we are. And he has so many other things that's going through his mind, but he's still able to focus on that. Mm. He's doing great. I mean, he's going to be 80. He's doing phenomenal. He's so smart, right? Yeah. He, he, do you ever talk about history with you? Yeah, he's... He he's a history me. buff. Yeah, you know a lot of history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every day we drive around the, the city, mm -hmm. and he tells us, you know, where we used to, he and the friends, them used to go and drink and hang out. <laughs> Back in the days? Ride, ride a cycle and what, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He got a lot of, very historic, man. Very. And he knows everything. Yeah, oh, know, my God. You know, George, them, to, 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 to his team, huh? Even outside of this country, he knows history so well. Yeah. All the Arab countries, everything he knows, all the capitals, he knows which African countries started universities or has the most universities. I don't even know that. Um, yeah. You see 80 kilometer? Yeah, no, I saw it, I saw it, yeah. And uh, when you get into Grove, it changed to 50. My mother is from Grove. Okay. Yeah, you know where the mosque is? I don't know if you ever recognize the mosque. I know mosque. where the mosque is. Through that street, that's mm -hmm. her house there. Okay. My grandmother's house and my mom and her siblings live there. My mom passed away six years ago. Okay. And all this area is great, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that they've got it, these areas, it's like every time I come back, it's, it gets busier and busier and it's like... Yeah, because, you know, um, vehicle sells every day here and, and, yeah. and no improvements are road. The roads are terrible. Yeah. Every you just have this. Yeah. They need to widen these roads. Yeah, you need to have better roads. Man. The problem is all these houses just built right on the public road. You see, that does the problem. So unless you bulldoze the houses, that's, that's not the problem here. we face with here. You're, you're so cramped. You know, you can't open up because you know, you see, yeah. permanent structure actually right on the. You road. know what they should do? They have the ability to build one one extra lane, maybe. And when it's rush hour time or busy time, they should make that one extra lane, right? Mm -hmm. Like in America, we have what's called the HOV lane. So if you have three or more people in your car, you can use that lane. Okay. But if you only have like, un if you have under that, then you have to be stuck in the lane with the traffic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you have like, more, like how we have four of us here, we should be able to use that HOV lane on the on public road here. Okay. But if it was only three of us, we'd be stuck. But it, it'll encourage people to probably use public transportation, public transportation. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, it's better for the environment because there's so many cars. Everybody has a car here. Yeah. Every household has like every, four or five every, cars. Every house. No, has at least two cars. Yeah, and you don't have the roads and to we accommodate don't have it. Roads. Okay, let, let, when we get, let's say, to the Harbor Bridge, to the Harbor Bridge going back to, let's say, at um, Banks DIH, yeah. what they do is at 5 o'clock, they would open the three lanes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For people who come in this way and going to the west side. And one lane and is open just to one go. Lane who going into town. Yeah, yeah, I know it, I know it. I know that, that's why you had to come early too, because yeah. you wanna, yeah. Believe me, I know, I got stuck on that traffic a couple of times. So this line we in, mm -hmm. is the line going to the harbor? To the bridge, yes, yeah. yes, I know. But when you get past Grove, mm -hmm. you get a little free up, until you reach somewhere like- Providence. Like Providence, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you work every day with dad or yeah, weekends? Yeah, Monday, Monday till Saturday. Okay, and yes, what do you do what, what do you do for on your spare time? Like what's your hobbies? Anything or just kinda chill at home, relax? Just chill Sunday, what I do is clean the get the car cleaned up, mm -hmm. check it up, you know, and get ready for Monday, you know. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, bro. Golden Grove. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah that's something from the boat from um, from Senegal. Senegal, Senegal. You see, I could tell you exactly. I could tell you exactly. No, when I can't do it now, but the custom got to clear it first, but they want to do it. Ah, custom. Exactly. 
I, I still left on the road, you know, I'm heading, heading down to Tongo. That's the Ganga Mandir in uh, Craig. Welcome to Golden Grove. I'm gonna get into Tonga Kayo. Ah, right to that. Because I gotta I got come down to the, to the market in any case. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, good. I love going to the markets here. The market now is steep. Really? Mm -hmm. How come? Your dad don't buy from Starbuck Market, period. Oh, oh Starbuck? Before, before go he goes to Borda, to Borda yeah. So you go to Starbuck? Actually, when I finish with your dad, uh -huh. sometimes he walks up to, let's say, 12, 1 o'clock, sometime 11, 30. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, my base is at Starbuck. Ah, oh, got it, got it. So you're yeah. there, you know, yeah. So when I finish with him, I would go there and work it up to like about four or so, mm -hmm. and then finish with him. When we came in November, um, one of my other daughters was with me, my youngest daughter mm -hmm. and, and Layla. Mm -hmm. And we were so hungry one night and we were driving back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And the hotel, because, you know, they're limited, they're, they were, room service wasn't open, they really didn't have much going on. Okay. And the only thing we can think of, we wanted like tennis roll and cheese. Oh. And the, a lot of your places were closed, they close early, right? Mm -hmm. So we went to the market, we I, we drove the car to, to the market. Yeah, we went like at 10 o'clock in the night and we drove to the market and they you could drive through and pick up your stuff. Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah. So we're in Grove, yeah. In growth. Growth. yeah. Growth. So we drove through the market and got some stuff and then we went back to the hotel. But it was fine. I thought it was pretty busy actually. Yeah, it's there still, was a lot going it's on still there. busy. All night, all night even night. I like all of the markets. It doesn't matter which one it is. Borda, Monrepose, yeah. Pariga. Monrepose is like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Busy. Yeah, busy. Monrepo's Saturday morning is a busy time. Yeah. For Rico, Sunday. This house is, is just totally dilapidated. What, what the Grandpa hell? Street Which one in the street? What street? Grandpa street. No, um, you have no. to look for the mosque. <coughs> the mosque, the mosque is, the mosque is coming up. We're, we're not there yet. What's the name of that street? First street? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't even know what the name. Maybe it's First Street. I don't know. Second Street. No clue. Number one market because they call it yeah, number that's, one that's market. The Chinese. Yeah. Oh, it's a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, oh, it's a Chinese market. market. Oh, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little off each other. Um. Like it. No, no, that's not it. Um, I don't even know if we passed it. I didn't look actually. Hmm? Oh, that's it actually. This pink house? No, the one next to it. I think that was my um, like, that was where my grandmother's sister used to live there. That's this one with the shed in front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so detailed. It's so. Yeah, it's really anybody, old. Anybody still occupy it? Yeah, it, I think it, so. It looks so abandoned. It looks abandoned. It does. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's there. I mean, my grandmother's sister passed away a long time ago. She was living there, but. Yeah, but these things are, are nice properties to buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should be. But then you're on this public road and you have to deal with this noise all day. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? This is, this a, is a storage. This is a spare parts. A spare parts, yeah. yeah. Spare parts. It used to be a house, apparently. Be a house, yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is third world country. You make the most of what you got. This house looks nice. Yeah, they have some nice houses in here. They have beautiful houses inside when you drive in. Yes, correct, yeah. I drove through the last time to look at my mom's house. And when you when you go into Diamond Scheme, mm -hmm. you see some lovely houses. Oh yeah. yeah, beautiful, expensive, fancy houses. What is this, a hotel? Or? It's, um, it's a market or a store. It's a huge building. A1, A1. A1 import, mm -hmm. solar lights, doors, PVC panels. I guess, so I guess they live hard, there and hard, hard yeah. 
Oh my god, the weather is unbelievably nice. Yeah. It's so beautiful out. It is a lot because it, it rained actually all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too bad it rained. Auntie Momina had to um, be buried today. You didn't know her, my dad's sister, did you? Pardon me? Did you know my dad's sister that passed away? Yes. Oh, okay, Auntie Momina. She's so sweet. My dad's eldest sister. She, she was, we were trying to come to her funeral last night and the flight that we were booked on, the midnight flight, unfortunately got canceled. Got canceled. And so we were, I booked back another flight for this morning, but you know, because of the time that it would get here, we were gonna miss the whole thing. So yeah. we ended up missing the whole funeral. Yeah. But um, you know, we're here to support my dad but, and all our still, family. Still here. Of course, yeah, our family still, is important to us. Still come and pay your respect. Of course, yeah. Still pay the respect. It's so sad, you know, when somebody passes away. It's yep. just, I know we all have to die, but you know what I mean? It's you like. You have to go one day and left each other. Oh, yeah. And then it has happened so sudden that it is. Caught you by surprise. Even when you're prepared, you're not prepared. Exactly. <coughs> it's final. That's yeah. the final destination, yeah. right? Is this a police outpost here? It's, here on the right? It's no. It's oh. on, the, on the left. So what is that thing that they built, like randomly left there? Just what what, what is? There? Yeah. What's the purpose yeah, of those things? There's some security of the. That's what I'm saying. Like a security head, I meant. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like look at all these big houses that they're building here. These houses are huge. But the thing is like they're on the freaking public road and it's a deal. Everybody, everybody wants to be. <laughs> I know, this is where the they want to be and I get it. I because, because if if you look something and go here and all the, all the houses that we pass on the public road, there are some business that, that you know, that they're doing either upstairs or downstairs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Those big orange places. Huh? Exactly, Times Square. Times Square Mall, oh my God. That's Times Square Mall, guys. It's never used to be here. Well, no. it's, it's. I mean, because you haven't been here in a while, Sheen. No, four years ago it was here? Yes, it yes. was here, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably didn't come past here to, rain, to dry. Oh, the rain's coming down. That's okay. Yeah, look, the, the one we used to come look the mosque is coming up, Sheen, on the right. Yes, correct. That's the mosque there. You're gonna get it. Oh, okay. You're gonna get it. There it is. Oh, yeah. I remember we used to come here. So, so you see that house in the back, Clinton? White yeah. The white one right there. The white there? one. Okay. That's my mom. Yeah, up truck there. Another truck passed by. Another truck by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got it, but that's okay. We'll come back another day. Thanks for slowing down. Yeah, it's alright. We used to come here all the time to Grove when my. Uh, Grandma and my aunts were living here. Mm -hmm. We used to spend so much time with them. Some of the best fun we used to have, right? Grove is always a nice village. Oh, yes, and it's so busy now. Yeah, oh my god. It's, it's so busy now. It's like a own little city over here. Grove is like a, it's like a thumb. It like has, Georgetown. It's like a little yeah. mini Georgetown. It has, it has bank. Yeah. It has supermarket. It has um, hospital. You know. Yeah. So it's, it's everything now, you know. Yeah. 
hospital here. Yeah. yeah. Accident and emergency. built with with downstairs. Sand bottom houses. Yes. And then they made them full. Exactly. Yeah. They repainted and we whatever. Them and you know. When it built it built like this one here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with the bottom house. Right.
Lord and tell no. My sister, she's allergic to cats. Me too. Whoa. And my daughter, so, they're allergic to cats. So how are you going to be a coat? We, well, we're not staying with him. Oh. We're staying at the hotel, <laughs> but um, in the house too. We're, yeah. yeah, we're going to spend the entire day with him, but oh. we're, you know, we're staying at the hotel, but I could stay there, no problem, but the two of them will, will not survive. <laughs> <laughs> you that probably must have about, about 15 cats now, man. And he talks to them like they're people. Exactly, yeah. In November, he only had six. Wow, well, you got, you know. Oh, Sheen, I forgot. Oh my God, Lincoln just told me about the cats. I, know, I forgot about that. You got, some, you got some new ones the other day because one of them dropped. Oh, okay. Oh, they just kind of come up to you and slither. Is that yeah, the new they mall? come and rub the skin on here yeah, against the new you. That's Amazonian mall over there. Yeah, uh, have you just been to just it? behind there. Yeah, I see it there. Yeah. Have you been to it? I haven't gone to it yet because tell you I should be the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, don't want to be bothered. Too much of crowd. Yeah. I don't disagree with you. Face. What are you, when oh, I said new yeah, face, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, a new restaurant, or, <laughs> all right, a new <laughs> restaurant or a new mall open up, everybody want Locked, to go. Yeah. yeah. And then nobody starts going out there. Well. That's exactly. um, sour sap over there, right? On the yeah, left. yeah, that's sour sap, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, sour yeah. sap, watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he buys some fruits. I think he bought... Um, you just go to Rafik and buy, right? At Bordeaux? Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. He bought some bananas. Pine and something else. What all is what else is in season? I see pine is there, lots of oranges, pine, sour orange, sap watermelon. What else? Mangoes. Mangoes are in season right mm -hmm. now? Yeah, mangoes. How about um cashew, sumutu? No. Syrup. Syrup. Um not much, not much. Okay, okay. There's some nice fruits on that street over there. If I lived in Guyana, I'd buy fruits every day. It's so nice and fresh. The fruits that we have in the, in America are like I don't enjoy it as much. Okay. You have um, you have mommy. Yeah, I see. You have um. I don't love mommy. Okay. You have tangerine. Um, I didn't say I don't love my mom. I said I don't love mommy. <laughs> <laughs>
allergies. Just think about those just cats. Think about is, those cats, Avi. Is, is the allergy? She, I think you talked about those cats, and it I'm kind like, of like, like raised, me. Raised right over <laughs> she just realized what she's going back, going home to. <laughs> And what, what, what you use for it? Claritin, over the counter stuff. You know how my dad does that all the time, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think my dad uses for it? He buys a lot of stuff. Nothing. He don't use nothing. He, don't use he just nothing. keeps doing it all day, and she does the same thing. <laughs> you know, you know what you must do. You must keep, um, keep like um, cow drop or mint. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when you feel you like your throat get dry, is the throat just get dry? Yeah, yeah. You know, you suck a mint. And you, you would see what, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming from dry throat. practice yourself you know yeah yeah I think the more you sleep the more you want to sleep the more you want to sleep yeah exactly sometimes she's texting me after night she's like oh my god I'm like what yeah I te she texts me sometimes and I'm like I'm, I'm in bed already and she's because probably body, she's like shocked want the relaxed moment because, because she wishes she could do that because till 12 o'clock she still wake up <laughs> and I don't I don't want to fall asleep fast like some people okay you take a while before I could sleep anywhere. I can sleep on the plane. I can sleep in this car if I wasn't talking to you. Remember how Alan used to fall asleep all the time? Start snoring. Oh, yeah, he starts snoring, right? Alan met me place the whole day. Oh, you know when this traffic is on um, the turn to go to Sheriff Street, right? This traffic? Um, this engine. No, this, this traffic. It's not the traffic straight to go turn, make the turn. You can yeah, turn and go to, um, to Mandela. Mandela Boulevard, yeah. Right. And back to Street, Street. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. This is that traffic now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's for instance, they have one here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you can you can come from that location and turn block it up. So they're using two lanes here. They're this lane is what? One and the two over there, which is three lanes. Uh -huh. To go up it, these bonds. This okay. lane here is if you want to go over the river, uh -huh. the bridge, you take this one. Got it, got it. So this is the tra mm -hmm. this is people going home. This from is Tom. people right, going into town. No, no, no. The three lanes that are being used is people, used who is people going who's going bank home. or going west bank. Yeah. Because the work day is over, right? Correct. Yeah. So there's people going back, right? And the only introduce the, the only introduces lane. Let's say from about five o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a brave guy standing in this traffic. God bless him. Tough job, isn't it? Yep. Dangerous too.
this after you drop yes, us? Yes, when I <laughs> finish. Is this um, well? overtime for you now? Well, more or less you because you don't I, work this late, right? I finish work. Yeah. So. so you only work with Dan, or you work with other people too? Because well, not other people that um, uh, okay. that I work for the work call. <laughs> Yeah, because he's not all day. Exactly, right. but he's not all day. Yeah, you drive into Rosignol, you said, right? Yeah. Last time, last time I drove into Rosignol, we okay. went to the um to the wharf. To the, to the plant. Yeah. <laughs> how how you find the road, boys? Oh, it's much, fine. It's much perfect. Better than this, oh yeah, it's so much nicer to drive up there because it's less cars too, right? It's not yes. as populated. Less, less cars. Just gotta look for the trucks. But there was a point where we were driving, um, where these three guys on motorcycles, two of them were in back, one was in the front, and you you could tell they were together. And then all three of them came in front and kind of slowed down. They turned back and they were watching me. And of course, my dad is like, "You know what that is?" And I'm like, "I'm ready for them. I slam it on this ready accelerator. Run, run them they come in. Run them over. They only come in. I slam in them down." <laughs> And Houston, in Houston, and then Park, Ramen's Park, and then, and then you get George, to, yeah. Alexander Village, Meadow Bank, Meadow Banks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, depend on which direction you go. If you go left, is Meadow Bank. If you go, mm. go ahead, go ahead. Because well, that's Fourth Street, um, Fifth Street is Fifth Alexander Street, Village, right? right? Yeah. yeah. You know, um, a lot of the stucco, it gets like dirty. That's the problem, right? Here. Yeah, the dust from because the dust. Of, because of the road. Yeah. When, they, when the weather dry, yeah. the dust, the dust, the trucks, mm -hmm. and, you know. Mm -hmm. So who will live but on the road pretty. front? <laughs> have, to, have to do a lot of cleaning. High maintenance. Yeah. Universal Auto Spares. The closer we get, the more worse her truck get is. <laughs> She's preparing herself She's for those cats. <laughs> so all your papers in order here? All your documents in order, Lincoln? All my documents mm -hmm. are ready to go. So they can't tell you something wrong on this. No. Let's make sure that because there go so many different places and oh yeah, you gotta make it's yeah. not when you in Georgetown the police does really harass you, it's when you go out of town. Yeah. Because for some reason there does no cars from that strange okay. yeah. No the strange cars. Isn't that sad that they targeting you because they know they don't know your car? <laughs> Why not just let people be? See, that's a problem. The country's so small, that's why it happens. Like in the United States, nobody ain't got time to figure out who car is who. It's true. Millions and millions of cars on the road. Yeah. Unless you're like from. Like, you got a real violate for the cops, though. Yeah. 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 And from the time the cops show up, they just punch in your, your license and all your information. And everything, yeah. situation any not, not bad. yeah not bad. I don't really feel ever feel affected by it but when I came out of the airport and I was walking I felt like one bit me on my back <laughs> I'm like are you kidding me as soon as I come out of here I get a mosquito bite but I don't know if it was a mosquito or just like you know or in my head because I was thinking about you that. probably was thinking about mosquitoes yeah. so. like when you think of something crawling on you you start getting itchy mm. like a spider or something yeah, like when you think about cats, you get allergies. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, mosquitoes never ever bother me, actually. But, um, you know, I just 
once you get those bug bites though, it's, they're so annoying to itch me. Yeah, it's rush hour time. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 5.30. That's Mohammed. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And all these things, Vera's, the Vera's. Yeah. Over here, the Vera's. Yeah. Okay, we get to the Vera now. Mohammed's Park. I came here for uh, breakfast one day. They had a Mohammed's. Oh, yeah.
Wait, okay, kids are on, on yeah, Tuesday, right? Yeah, but nobody's outside, so. Yeah, them kids is running. No, no the kids distance. are outside, but we can't see. Come back later, right? Yeah. All right. Bye. Oh, it's beautiful. This is my dad. This is where I'm from. Right, Second Street, <laughs> Alexander Village. Idiot. Look, Second look, Street, look, Alexander look, Village. See. Speak of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. See one. Oh, that's silly. Okay. That's